I'm here with Eric Pote, who's one of the research managers here at Wageningen. And behind us, we have some examples of uh, technologies that you're looking at for uh, energy conservation. Can you tell me about those? Well, we're now at the Innovation and Demonstration Center. And that's a place where designers and developers of new te technology can actually show and demonstrate their new uh, designs of greenhouses to growers and developers of, uh, of technology. So we have four new greenhouses over here. And you're looking in, in the back, there is a, a greenhouse for potted plant production. And also uh, over there, there's one for potted plant production. And what you can see already is that there is an uh, asymmetric roof. And uh, they have a bigger site on the, on the south side for optimal um, solar radiation. Okay. And this is in the developmental phase. Do you see any growers who are interested in this sort of concept? Uh, there's one potted plant grower who is um, really uh, um, following the, the experiments very tight and he has plans to build uh, about one hectare of this system uh, next year. We're now inside that greenhouse taking a look at the structure and it's actually a pretty interesting light environment in here. Can you tell us about the features of this greenhouse? Yeah, well, normally in, uh, in Holland when uh, producers of potted plants, they use a lot of screens uh, in the roof to, to keep the sunlight outside because uh, the plants need uh, shade, otherwise they burn. Um, and in this structure, we use Fresnel lenses. And okay. what they do is they focus the light in uh, onto a beam. Uh, so the direct light is, uh, uh, well, put on the beam and on the beam there are photovoltaic cells so you can produce even uh, electricity on there but what's also happening is that the, the, the diffuse light is still uh, getting into the greenhouse so uh, the, the plants are still growing with uh, all the, the diffuse light that, uh, that there is so you keep the high um, photosynthetic uh, production okay do you think this would work in the winter time as well Yes, yeah, it, 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 it does. Okay. Uh, most of the effects uh, is in, uh, in the times that there's a lot of direct sunlight. So when you have no clouds, uh, like we have today, um, then you have the biggest uh, effects. But it's also, well, in, in, in winter time, you lose a little bit of light. So for, let's, for example, for uh, vegetables like tomatoes, it's not uh, suitable. But for um, greenhouses where you produce potted plants or other uh, plants um, with a uh, little, little bit of shade, they need a little bit of shade, it's a very good concept.